If you would like to see what look I can create with the makeup that I received in the Beauty Evoke box, keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be testing some Beauty Evoke makeup items. And that doesn't mean that Beauty Evoke has its own makeup line, but I am talking about the makeup items that we received in the latest Beauty Evoke box. And in that box we received two cella items, which are the eyeliner pen and a lipstick pencil. I am also going to be testing a looks exclusive eyeliner. And I am also going to try and create a look with the Douce Freematic eyeshadow palette. So I am really excited to test these items out because I have never heard of them before, tried them before or searched for any swatches or something like that. So we are just going to see if I like these items and if I can actually create a nice look with these items. And as you could probably tell, I already did my base makeup and my eyebrows because obviously we do not have a full face um, of makeup items inside of the box. So therefore I already did my base makeup. So we can actually dive into these items immediately. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to see if these items are any good. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So first of all, let's start with my hair because I do not like my hair loose when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just going to put in a good old fashioned hairband. And now I can actually do my makeup without my hair getting in the way. Let's see what we've got today. Mm, I think that the two cella items are going to be used later on. And also the Lux exclusive eyeliner pen is going to be used in a later stage. So I'm also going to put that away. And that leaves me with the Douce Douce. As usual, I don't know how to pronounce these names. But this is the Douce Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a very simple black box, but let's get it out of the packaging. So, and this palette actually feels quite heavy. And I personally really like that when I'm having a palette in my hand. And also the way you open this palette, it has a little lid right here and you just pop it open. And the colors inside of these palettes are actually stunning. And these colors are stunning and I believe yeah, this is a magnetic palette, so you can actually grab out the colors, which have two magnets on the back. And you can just pop them in and out when you buy new colors, I guess. Which is actually a very cool idea, so you still have the beautiful, nicely made um, palette, but you but you can just change the colors inside of it. And let me just swatch some colors to see if the color payoff and the pigment is any good. I am really curious about this matte color right here. And for example, the shimmering blue color. So let's give that one a try. Let's start off with the black color. 
and I was actually expecting a little bit more of a color payoff. Maybe if I put on a little bit more, maybe I did it too lightly, but also I'm just going in there like quite hard and it does not show up that much on my finger either. But let's see if maybe the second one is going a little bit better. No, it's still really grey. This is the first one and this is the second one. So this darker color does not have a lot of pigment, which I was actually expecting that it would have a lot more. But let's try one of the shimmery colors just to see if maybe that formula is a little bit different. And for that I'm going to swatch this one. And that one is called Lexi and the black one is called Hillary. Ooh, this looks a whole lot darker on my finger. I thought it was gonna pick up a lot more blue, but this is the bluey shimmery color. And that is actually a lot darker than the matte formula, because this is the Lexi color, the blue shimmering color, but it actually looks more of a black color with a shimmer inside of it. But I personally thought this was going to be a lot more uh, blue because it looks more blue grayish in the pen right here. I think I'm just going to play with this a little bit and try to create some sort of a look. Little disclaimer, I am not good at makeup in any way, shape or form. I am not a makeup expert, I'm not a beauty guru or anything like that. I'm just a typical average person who likes to play with makeup from time to time. So I'm just going to see what I can create with this palette. and. In that way I can also show you guys if this is any good and if I recommend you buying this. I am going to quickly clean my hand and the swatches and I will be right back so we can start creating something. So I am back. Uh, one of the plus sides of this palette is that it has a super large mirror which I personally really love. Um, I'm just going to start off this look by putting one of the darker matte shades um, in my crease. But maybe I'm going to be starting off with this color as some sort of a transition color. And I have my brushes over here so when you see me looking down that way you'll know that I'm trying to figure out which brush I'm going to be using. You look clean. I think this one is clean. So I'm going to be starting with the lighter shade which is called Amanda. I've noticed that they almost... Yeah, I noticed that they all have uh, some girly names. If I don't forget I'm going to try and give you the names of the colors that I'm going to be using. But for now I'm going to start with this lighter shade right here. And I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. And this is just an extremely pale color which almost matches my skin. So I think that is, for me, it is a very nice color to just pop on the entire lid as some sort of base or a starting point. And next up, I think I'm going to be using this darker color for my crease and that one is called Molly and I'm just going to use the same brush for this. I'm not sure if that's any good but that's just the way that I'm doing my makeup. And this deepened my eyes a little bit more. 
I was a little bit scared of the black color right there but after seeing the swatches I think I can actually use it on the outer corner to deepen it a little bit more mm, yeah I'm just going to try that and hopefully it doesn't go too dark let's test that out And I actually think that it does not look bad at all. If you were expecting a super pigmented black color, then I think you will be super disappointed by this one. But to darken the color and the outer V a little bit more, I think it actually is a very nice color to be using for that. And I think I can already move on to some shimmering color for my lid so i hope that it does not look too bad right now the blending is a little bit off but i think it will do for now maybe i will fix that later on um before i move on to any shimmery color on my lid i think i'm going to be using this uh this same brush to run down my lower lash line so the same colors will be down there and i think i would like to use this shimmery color for my eyelids because I think that that would go very well with the other colors on my eye and this is some kind of pinky purpley shape that I don't use very often so I think it is exciting to try something new and for that I'm just going to be using my fingers because with shimmery colors in my opinion, that has a better payoff in pigments. So I'm just going to try and see where my finger is going to take me with this color. And this shade is called Isabel. Okay, I think the color match is pretty good. But the shimmer payoff is not there at all. Uh, on my finger you can see a little bit of sheen and shimmer. But on my eyes, I don't know where it's gone, but it's not on my eyelid at all. Um, I have a big window right here, so I have natural lighting coming in and I do not see... A lot of shimmer on my eyes let's move a little bit closer so you can see this is what it looks like on my lids and I don't know where the shimmer has gone but it is not here anymore I think that is actually so disappointing because in the pen these colors look amazing. They look so pretty but the pigment is just not there and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm doing anything wrong or if it really is just these colors. If I'm doing anything wrong please let me know in the comments down below so I can avoid this mess in the future. But I'm so sad that these colors are not there whatsoever. Well, the color is there, but the shimmer is nowhere to be found. I'm really curious to see what this super bright color is going to do. And that is the shade Marcy. I'm just going to try and pop that over the top just to see... If maybe the lighter shade has any more sheen to it or shimmer to it so let's see what that one is going to do well this lighter shade has brought a 
tiny little bit of extra shimmer to it but it is still not amazing it is not wowing me whatsoever and right here they look so pretty look at that I'm so sad but I think this is the best I can do right now whoa I look like a raccoon in the viewfinder <laughs> That's okay, we're just testing some stuff out. Mm, yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave the palette for what it is. I'm a little disappointed, guys. I'm so sad because oh, it's such a shame because of the colors. They are so, so beautiful, but I'm disappointed. In the Beauty A Vogue box, we also received a exclusive eyeliner from the brand Lux. And this is just a very light color. And this is something that you can use on your waterline, but maybe you can also use this as some kind of a highlighter color on the inner corner of your eye. I'm not really sure how this is going to swatch. Okay, this is a very creamy nude color. So maybe you can use it on your inner corner, but I don't think this is a very highlighty kind of color, but you can definitely use this on your waterline. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my waterline. So this eyeliner is super creamy. It has a very nice texture and it is very soft for your eyes. And I think it has given my eyes a little bit more of an open look. And it has a little bit of sheen or shimmer to it. So I think this is very nice to give your eyes a more awake and open look. So I am glad that this item does work well. And also the formula and the texture is very nice for my eyes. The next item that we are going to try is this Cella eyeliner pen. And I already swatched this while unboxing the Beauty Evo box and this has a lot of pigment. It's very black, it has a high uh, color payoff and it is just blacker than black. Let me show you real quick. This is just one simple line. I barely touched my skin and it is super black. So I'm a little bit scared to be using this because if you make a little mistake it is very visible and I think this is also a very hard one to erase. But I'm just going to try and create a little winged eyeliner. I normally use uh, an eyeliner with a bristly applicator but this has one of those felt tip applicators. I'm not really sure how that is going to go because I have been using a brush applicator eyeliner for at least 10 years, I think. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try my best and let's see what I can do with this one. Okay, you guys, I think this is the best that I can do. Let's just say that I'm not really a felt tip eyeliner kind of girl because this is not my best work whatsoever. I don't think the lines are super crisp or clean. I tried to neaten it up a little bit more, but I really struggle with felt tip eyeliners 
and I think it is just because I'm so used to the brush applicator and it goes on very soft, very smoothly and the felt tips are a lot more sturdy to work with. Despite my lack of felt tip eyeliner skills, I do think that the color payoff is very good with this cello eyeliner. The next thing that we received was a cello lipstick pencil and you could either get this in some kind of cherry color or in a nude color. Unfortunately, I got the nude color and I think this is going to create one of those old-fashioned foundation lips kind of look, but we will see. And this is the little box that it comes in. And this is the actual little crayon. This is the nude color. And it looks like this on my skin. So it looks a little bit darker than I thought it was going to look. And it felt very creamy on my hand. I'm just going to try this. We will see if it looks any good with my skin and my hair. But there's only one way to find out if it is any good. The application actually is really nice. It is super creamy, super soft. I am not a lipstick kind of girl. I don't use it a lot, but the application was very easy for me. But as I already predicted, this is giving me some kind of foundation lip look, which I'm not all about. Um, Maybe if you have a different skin tone, this will look beautiful on you. But I don't think that this color suits me very well. And it, it has a very subtle mint smell. And it almost feels a little bit minty on my lips. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this color on me. But nonetheless, the product is very nice. It has good color payoff but it just doesn't suit me, uh, I think personally. Maybe you have the same kind of skin color and hair color and you love this color. Um, that's fine, that is great, you do you, but I personally don't like this color on me. And then for the final item, this is not a makeup item, but we also received this fixing spray. Or setting spray is just how you would like to call this. But this is from the Depre or Depre uh, Professional Makeup Fix It Spray. And this is by Special Cosmetics Amsterdam. And yeah, let's set this look and see if this works as well. It does have a very fine mist and it smells like rose water. Oh my god, I'm trying to smell it with the cap on. Oh, this smells very nice. Just now I realized that I forgot to put on some mascara. We did not receive that in the box. So I'm just going to apply my own mascara very quickly and I will be back with my final verdict. So I just applied some mascara and this is the finished look. I noticed when I went over to my big mirror with some different lighting that there is a lot more shimmer on my eyelids than I thought there would be. Because when I'm sitting here in a natural light with this little mirror, I don't see it that much. But back at my normal vanity mirror, I saw a lot of shimmer. But I also noticed a lot of shimmer down here. So <laughs> that means that these eyeshadows have a lot of fallout. But this is the final look I created. Oh. 
Overall, I think that you can actually create a lot of cool looks with these few products. But I am a little bit disappointed about the, uh, the eyeshadow palette because I thought these colors would be incredibly pigmented and super bold and bright and all that kind of good stuff. But they kind of let me down a little bit. The two eyeliners really surprised me, so the Natural Luxe one and the Velvet Tip Black Cella one. If it would like to focus, thank you. Uh, these two worked great, color payoff was very good. The little lipstick crayon from Cella is also very good. Formula is very nice, creamy and soft on the lips. But the color just doesn't suit me in my opinion. But that doesn't mean that this is not a good product. Because I personally think this is a very nice crayon. And also the fixing spray, I can still smell it. It, it already dried on my skin. Uh, and it did very fast, so that is also a good one, a very nice one, and it smells lovely. So overall, I am very excited and very happy with the makeup products that we received in the Beauty A Vogue box. I only wish there was a little bit more pigment in the eyeshadow palette. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on these products. I personally think that the Lux eyeliner pencil is going to be my favorite because it just gives you a, a nice awaken look. And this is the end of my testing Beauty A Vogue makeup video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!